Yes, well, personally, I cannot wait any longer to wait to see this wardrobe. So let's bring her out. Ladies and gentlemen, please help me in welcoming Miss Ohio 2015, Sarah Hyder. Welcome to my hometown and to my high school. Uh, it's pretty surreal to be standing here on this stage where I was in the choir, in the orchestra, um, on the speech and debate team, and in musical productions with the drama club. Um, so to come back here as Miss Ohio and to be able to be on the stage again and celebrate this with you is just amazing. So thank you so much for being here today. Um, and second of all, don't you guys love my outfit? <laughs> This had to be the first outfit that I showcased because it is blue and gold, so go woo! <laughs> wow, doesn't she look amazing in her um, dress? And she's definitely going to nail that on-stage question and have a crowd roaring answer just like she did in Miss Ohio. All right, well, so if anyone knows about this Ohio pride, not only is it me, but I think Sarah has really encompassed that pride. So in her next outfit, her Show Me Your Shoes Parade outfit, let's see this incredible dress. Sarah's parade outfit is a beautiful display of our state flower, the carnation. Sue Swinehart, Vice President of the Miss Ohio program, created the beautiful cape and shoes. Crawling through the carnations are our state bug, the ladybug, which is also a sign of good luck. There are two white carnations on Sarah's white cape that are a symbol of her sorority. Chi Omega's flower is the white carnation. Wow, there are two Sarahs on stage that really know some Ohio pride. <laughs> Sarah out in her interview outfit for Miss America. Check out this one-of-a-kind custom-designed interview dress made by Paula Morgenstern of Vlania Bridal in Mansfield. Sarah loves the bright and gold pink and orange colors and the unique structure of this dress. It certainly captures Sarah's fun personality and I would know. <laughs> Sarah, the judges are going to love you in this dress, and so do I, because, you know, I love my hand. <laughs> well, I have to say, first, let's applaud this dress just one more time. <laughs> Paula Morgenstern for making this amazing dress for me. Um, I was shopping and shopping and shopping for the perfect talent gown, and among many, many beautiful gowns, I just couldn't find the one. It's kind of like a guy, you know? There's some really great ones, but just couldn't find quite the right one. <laughs> so I came to Paula, who was already making my interview dress for me, and I was just like, Paula, I can't find the right one. And we put our brains together, and the fascinating thing was we were literally thinking the exact same thing in our minds for what we wanted for this dress. And so I knew right then that this had to be the one. Um, so I have to give Paula amazing credit. You will not believe this. She made this dress in one week. <laughs> so she has come to my rescue, and it's so amazing. 